What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder. But today we got ourselves an amazing team. We got ourselves an awesome Sand Rush Draco Fish team. If you guys are hyped for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on this channel. It is crazy. I cannot thank you guys enough. But this team right here was sent in by my boy TNT. TNT, thank you so much for dropping this team. It looks amazing. We got the T-Tar and Draco Fish combo alongside with the Tapu Lele, Celestia, Heatran, and Dusclops. But rocking out in our front spot, we're going to talk about Celestial right here. It's got that Beast Boost, Steel and Flying type with that Psychic Siege, which will go well with the Psychic Surge from the Tapu Lele. We got Leech Seed, Protect, Heavy Slam, and Acrobatics. We can totally just stall out here and Leech Seed, Protect, and keep going with this Celesteela. Right next to it, we got the boy Heatran. We haven't showed off this Pokemon just yet in the channel yet. We, it's Fire and Steel type with Heat Wave, Flash Cannon, both for Stab, Earth Power, and Protect. You could consider it a ground Pokemon, too. Like, if it could have a third type, it would definitely be ground. It has Flash Fires as its ability, and that Shuka Berry, so it can actually eat up. Is that a rock move? Or it can eat up a rock or ground move, I believe. I believe that's what the Shuka Berry does. Beyond my face cam, we got the one, the only, T-Tar with that weakness policy. You guys already know how deadly that can be. Sandstream has this ability. Rock Slide and Lash Out for stab damage. Super power for coverage and protect. We got Dusclops. Do I even need to talk about him? You guys already know. Bulky Pokemon with the Evo Light. It can set Trick Room. That's all you need to know. Bottom left, we got Draco Fish with that Life Orb and Sand Rush. Sand Rush will double its speed in the Sandstorms with Fish's Ren, Psychic Fangs, Rock Slide, and Protect. Then in the final spot, one of my favorite Tapus right here, we got Choice Scarf Tapu Lele with Psychic, Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, and Shadow Ball. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's get on to that ranked double ladder and get some wins with this squad. First battle going up against this crazy team. It looks awesome, but it just looks not really meshed in too well. It's got Urshifu. Blastoids, I love Blastoids, such a cool Pokemon. Regilecki, Dusclops, Metagross, I think is terrifying. And also, uh, what is that? A Glaciary. With the, with the Dusclops, that is definitely scary. Definitely really, really scary. I want to check out uh, speeds of these Pokemon before we do go in here. Because we do have a Trick Room Pokemon. So, depending on the speeds, could uh, make a lot of, make a big difference. 72, we got 31 on you. 139, double. Okay, so if we don't want to go in the Trick Room, we can uh, roll out with everybody except for Dusclops and Celesteela. That's probably the play. And I kind of want to do that. But no, at the same time, I kind of don't. Mm, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? I actually kind of do. I kind of want to lead the Sandstorm and the Draco Fish. And then go Celesteela. And Tapu Lele. Or do I go Tapu Lele with the Choice Scarf with Heatran? I mean, that could be pretty good. I said we do that, bringing the Heatran. I feel like Heatran could be a lot better than the Celesteela. Let's go, uh... Heatran, and then just bring top, uh, Choice Scarf Tapu Lele in the back end with its Psychic Surge without the Celesteela and try this out. But, yo, if you guys want to catch more content from me, head to the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream 3 plus days every single week. And, guys, if I do miss stream days, it is because I am super busy. Like, I missed one today. The day of this recording is because I am super busy with school and work and all that stuff. It is just, uh, it gets to be a lot. Like, I have a test today, and then I have a bunch of homework, and I just get slammer jammered with work. It's just, just, it is just terrible. It is just terrible. But don't think I, I do this intentionally. But, like I said, if you want to know when I go live, hit that follow button. Turn on notifications. But Sandstream's going to pop. We're going to get Fisher's Man rolling. We're going to double up our speed here. We should be able to outspeed that Regilecki, no problem. We're like 270 speed. Um, I can totally see uh, what's called, actually. Uh, I could see uh, the Urshifu over here dropping a, uh, dropping a what's it called, a Detect. I could see it, but then at the same time, I'm, I'm actually just going to protect you because I could see maybe like a water move coming out. And I think I'm just going to Fisher's Man and drop Regilecki. I feel like uh, Regilecki might pose a bigger threat right now. Hmm. Do I want Regilecki out of here? Yeah, I kind of do. Let's let's get this thing out of here. Regilecki's just just too good. It's just too good. But is he going to Dynamax? No way you Dynamax. No way you Dynamax. But Sandstorm is popping, baby. It's popping. Get after it. Let's get after it. Oh, yeah, I love how Regilecki just bounces. He's like on a spring right here. My T-Tar protects. Go ahead. Show you're going for like a water move against me. Is that the water one? I'm really not too sure. I cannot tell them apart. <laughs> a fish around popping out here. No sash? No sash. Let's get it. Let's go. Fish's around dumps on it. Tells it to go home. We're going to take some life orb damage and then we're just going to keep rolling out from there. He's going to go for a close combat. Oh my god. I am so dumb. I am so dumb. I totally forgot. I totally forgot that that thing hits through protect with unseen fist ability. Like, I saw it coming after me. I saw it coming at me. Like, I made the nice read. I just forgot about the ability. That one's on me. That one's on your boy, Jeans. Um, come out with Tapu Lele? I kind of want to come out with Tapu Lele. 
Yeah, yeah, let's get Lele out here. Because Lele should be able to do some big old work over onto that uh, Urshfu with the Moon Blast. And that Blast Switch come out. Ooh, ooh, okay. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. I see how we're playing this game. And in my final spot, I have Heat Train. Mm -mm. Mm. Do I Dynamax Lele? Do I Dynamax Lele? I don't think we Dynamax Lele. I say we just drop a, a Psychic here into the Blastoids, and then we go into a Fistish Friend. This is actually not the uh, Water one, because it's normal effective. So it's it's dark, and we can do some damage up on this thing. Even if it's Sash, Sash is gone due to the Sand Stream, and Lele is going to be able to do some nice damage over onto the uh, Blastoids with the Psychic, and the Psychic Surge if we get the Stab, and then the 1.3 boost alongside of it, and Fistish Friend, ooh, is not going to take out the Urshfu. It's going to go into, who is this? Who is this? It's going to go into this Metagross. Okay, I, I kind of I kind of dig it. Do some damage over on the Metagross slot. This Metagross does pose a huge threat. Look at that. Oh my lord. Yes, sir. Draco Fish plays no games. Draco Fish plays no games. Plays no games whatsoever. Bang. Big old damage coming out up against that Blastoise. And we're going to get the drop. We are going to get the special defense drop, which is huge. And we are going to trigger his little bit of a uh, white herb. So, good. Good. We get that drop, and now Shell Smash is not even... We're not even worried about it. We're not even worried about it. His defense is dropping, his special defense, his stats are lowered, but they are boosted at the same time. I think uh, Draco Fish should be able to outspeed this. Actually, both of them might be able to. Like, we're Scarfed and we're Sand Rush right now. No need to Dynamax here. No need to Dynamax. We're just thriving. We're just thriving. But we're choice into that, uh, that Psychic, which I'm not even mad about. Should be able to pick up the double kill here, unless he Dynamaxes and eats this up, but I still don't see him eating up Psychic in Dynamax form. But that did a big chunk last, last, uh, last, uh, what's it going Last turn. Did a big chunk. Well, he's going to Dynamax. This is his last stitch effort. He has to be able to eat up a Psychic here. Or outspeed and uh, do some work. He's going to G-Max Blast so he's up here. Um, I'm not even worried about the Metagross. He might actually protect the Metagross, but Metagross is done. For all I know. My Pokemon outspeed him. He's down very, very low on health. And Fish's Wrench should be able to come out here and just pop it off. Yeah, get out of here. Get him out of here. Get out of here, boy. Get out of my face. <laughs> Drop that, fool. That's big. That is big. Everybody knows how good Metagross is. Second comes out, take this thing out for the game. For the game, baby. That's definitely game. He has one Pokemon left, and we're just running out here. We're just running it out, doing work. We lost our T-Tar, but T-Tar set up Sandstream for a Draco Fish to just come out here and sweep and do some work and just run some things. Tapu Lele can't, comes in to clean up. We don't even get to show off Heat Change just yet, but we got to show off that big old Draco Fish in that Sand Rush. Karate Cub comes back out. Tell this thing to get out of my face. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. It's like it has no effect, but I know dang well that this fish is trying. It's just going to say, get out of my face. Go home with this life orb damage. Oh, he just canceled the battle. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Would you look at this? Going up against a very, very old team. I remember using this team like way, way back in the first like three seasons. This is cool to actually see. He's got a Sand Rush Extra Drill team. Always a big threat. Always a big threat. With Kuvernite, Indeedy, Rotom, Lawnmower Guy, and Poltsky. And the Poltsky over here. Um, How should I play this one? I could trick him. I could totally trick him. You're going to the trick room, bring Lele, Heatran, and uh, Celesteela. That might be the play. Hop off with that Psychic Surge. With uh, Lele. Hmm, how do I play this one? Let's set up a Leechy turn one. Then bring in this. Mm, what do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do? But then he, he has two rock or two mons that could drop rocks. It's kind of scary at the same time. I kind of want to bring in Heatran and show him off as well. Because Heatran can do some work. So I think I'm going to go... Um, then we're going to try to get a quick KO with the T-Tar and Dracofish combo, combo, and then go Lele and uh, Heatran again, and try to show off Heatran a little bit more in this battle. So same squad in this battle, and then in the next battle, I definitely want to try to show off the Trick Room squad with the uh, with the uh, Celestial in it, because you can just throw in Leech Seeds, protect, eat up all that good stuff, and just uh, thrive out from there, especially with the defense boost from the Psychic Seeds. But second battle, looking for our second win. We are sitting at a beautiful 1-0. Looking to keep this win streak going. See what we got. Who are you playing, dog? Who are you playing? Extra drill and Rotom. It's gonna come out of here. Oh, do you predict me throwing out this dude? That might have been very, very smart for you. But I, who's gonna outspeed? Is my fish gonna be able to outspeed you, dude. If my fish outspeeds, we gonna be thriving. We gonna be thriving here. They're both gonna be sand rush. That's that's an obvious. That's an obvious. But I am just going. I can drop the super power. Get after it. But I am just gonna drop the probably a lash out here. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to uh, lash out here, and I'm just going to go for this Fish's Rend over on the extra drill. I don't think we're going to outspeed it, but I don't see us really going down here unless he uh, Dynamaxes. Let's see what he does. But if he does Dynamax, I think he's going to go for my T-Tar slot with maybe a Skill Spike or a Ground Move. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what's happening. We'll see what's happening. Let's go, Draco. Let's get it, Draco. 
He's gonna Dynamax that Extra dude. I love Extra. He's one of my favorite Pokemon, like in all of Pokemon. It's just such a cool Pokemon. I remember when he came out in uh, Gen 5, just his sprite. He looks so tough. He looks so cool, man. I love this sprite, man. Before he turned like 3D, he's gonna go for a Knuckle Buckle over onto Titar. Over onto Titar. Titar says, yo, dude, that's Taste Snack. Give me that weakness policy. Lash out is gonna do some big damage here. And I wonder what uh, Rotom's gonna go for. Is he plotting or is he gonna try to drop a leaf zone? Let's see what he does. Because this could be huge. This could be a huge turn for us. It could be a huge turn. I don't think uh, Fish Turn's gonna take out anymore. Because it's not doubled. But it's still gonna do a massive amount of damage. Which is awesome. Good old massive amount of damage. That would have took out if we would have been able to LSP because then it would have been double. And he's gonna Volt Switch out. So whichever Pokemon is coming in the slot is getting a heavy lash out onto them. Show me somebody that we could just dump on. That'd be awesome. Show me somebody that we can just get out of my face. <laughs> Come on, I want to do it. I want to do it a quick get out of my face. That's like my new thing going on, is to get out of my face. <laughs> With the hand motion. You guys got to do the hand motion. It's, it's get out of my face. <laughs> oh, Dragapult? Oh, you know what's coming, guys. You know what's coming. You know what's coming. You guys know what's coming. Last out coming here. With the policy. Get it. Get it, dog. Out my face. Get it out my face. Out of here. Out my face, dog. One more. Get out my face. <laughs> Dunked on that thing. Bad choice, man. Bad choice going into that. Your road time had a better chance eating that one up. He go back in the road time. He's like, dang, dude, I should have kept this dude in here all along. Um, I think we all get rid of this extra. I think extra's got to go. Actually, dude, he outspeeds a lot. Did I protect? I think I might protect you. I'm going to protect. I'm going to protect my boy right here, Draco Fish. I'm going to protect the fish. I should have probably doubled up into this thing, but he's probably going to pick up the double kill. But I think Max is coming through to the fish side, right? Show me the fish side. Whack. Whack. Whack sauce. Um, okay, I think Lele might have to come out here. Dude, this thing's just going to outspeed. It's going to do work. Uh, Dynamax Pokemon is definitely going to be Heat Train. Definitely going to be Heat Train. P E Tran, yeah, leave some block. Get out of my face, dog. <laughs> or do I bring out Heat Tran? I said we bring out Heat Tran to be honest with you. We got that fire typing. We work. We could change up weather. We could do a lot here. We could do a lot. <laughs> hmm. My boy Heat Tran. Let's get after it. Let's get after it, dude. Uh, you're taking the Dynax. Uh, do I go for the Quake? You might have Alex Switch. I really don't want to go for the Quake. I'd rather change up the weather. Put it in Heat Tran's favor. Take out the drill. Take out the drill. And I think we just uh, suck it fangs over here. And do some damage over on here. We do have the Shuka Berry. And I believe Shuka Berry is for ground moves, right? I believe it is for ground moves. So we can eat up just fine if he goes to that max quake. But we should be thriving. Your boy should be thriving. If he guards, that's fine by me. I'm, I'm cool with that. That's, I, I, that's actually would be better for me. Actually, no, it wouldn't. I don't know. I don't know what would be getting better for me. If he guards, because I was gonna go. I was gonna make the guard choice. But I said, yo, he trains got the Shuka Berry. We ain't playing around. Show me Quake. He's gonna go for a Knuckle Buckle. Okay, that's totally fine. Over onto Draco. Nope, he train. Eee! Chill on me. Chill on me. Alright. Alright, he train. Show me you outspeed Rotom. That'd be wonderful. That's what we need. We need he train to outspeed Rotom for next turn. But nice little Psychic Fang is gonna come out. Do a little bit of damage. We're gonna take some life over here. He train does outspeed. Okay, cool. Change up the weather. It is in our favor now. Dump on extra. Tough to get out of here. So we're sitting at a uh, what is it? A three v two because we still have Lele in the back. Well, probably gonna be two v two here. Probably gonna be two v two, which I don't really mind. If you take out my, uh, I actually want him to take out my boy. Go for a leaf. If he goes for a leaf storm over onto my uh, Draco fish, I'll be happy with that. He goes for a volt switch. Okay, smart play. Smart play. Here it's a crit. I was dead anyway. But I want him to go for that least one because he would have dropped his stats and he couldn't have switched out. Rotom's right. going to switch out and uh, come right back in. So we know that my Rotom outs or my Heatran outspeeds that Rotom. We know that. So I can drop a flare, tell to get out of here, go home. He's going to go T-Tar. And that is actually huge for us because we do have Chewy Scarf Lele. We do have Chewy Scarf Lele. Hmm. Hmm. We have Chewy Scarf Lele, but the scary thing is, do I really want to proc weakness policy right now? Do I really want to proc weakness policy right now? Definitely to flare over into the Rotom spot. Definitely just get that thing out of here, tell it to go home. Because again, we outspeed it. I think both our Pokemon outspeed, so it's safe to drop the flare, take out the Rotom, and then uh, go into a Moonblast and possibly trigger weakness policy. 
Because he's not going to take out both with one turn. He's not. That's not happening. That's not happening. Go for the flare. I'm going to change up the weather again. Put it back in my favor. And then drop a big old blast of moons that is scarfed. That is scarfed. And maybe pick up the victory royale. For the jeans on and on game of community, baby. <laughs> Lele, dude. I've been loving Lele lately. Same thing with uh, Finny, dude. I've been loving Finny as well. Finny, I think, I saw, like, Finny's usage rate in, like, the past, like, most recent Pokemon tournament, and it was above 50%. Like, that thing is taking over. That thing and Metagross are, like, top two. It was, like, the top three was, it was, it was Finny, I think Metagross, and something else. And something else. But it, the other one was, like, more so a support mod. I forget what they are. But still, they were very strong Pokemon. They were rolling out. Heatran was actually in the top uh, 50 list or something like that for usage rates. Heatran wasn't too bad. Uh, a lot of the, it was uh, Lele and, uh, I didn't see Coco up in the top usage rate or uh, Blue. I haven't even used Blue yet. Let's see what happens here. Moonblast's gonna come out. No protects are gonna come out from this guy. Let's see how much damage we can do. Can we come to go home? Nah, yo. Titar's a tank. Possibly policy. Not policy. I love it. I love it. And that's gonna be game. So my Heatran train outspeeds. Takes you out. Get him out my face, yo, dude. That's GG. That is GG, yo. Your boy's gonna go 2-0. We're gonna be able to hop into our third and final battle. That is awesome. That's awesome, man. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other Pokemon that have uh, bigger usage rates. I think Garchomp and, uh, no, Landorus was up there. Landorus was up there because of its intimidate. It's always a strong move. Always a strong move. We're going to drop a Steel Spike and then go into a Moonblast. But Moonblast is going to go first and just tell this thing to get out of my tell, tell him to go home. I got this one, guys. Don't worry. I got it. I got it. Hey, yo, Titar. Get out of my face. Get him out of here. Get him going. Get him going. Awesome. Battle's over. GG. And we're going to hop to our third and final battle. Third and final battle, looking for that perfect record for the Jeans Online Gaming Community, baby. We looking for it. And this guy has Genesec, and I forgot to mention, I don't even know if Genesec's allowed in ranked battles, but these are not ranked battles. These are casual. I totally forgot to mention because the Celestial and the Tapu Lele are not battle mark ready. I don't know why, but if you guys do send me teams, make sure they're ready for rank because I really want to showcase this team on the rank ladder because it is like this team is strong it is good for ranked battles it is really good for ranked battles but we cannot show it off because they are not battle mark ready so if you guys want to send me teams definitely make sure they are all ready for ranked and all that good stuff but looking for that perfect 3-0 he's got an awesome team right here he's got tailwind set up with crowbat he's got calyrex clefable genesect which i'm pretty scared of i'm pretty scared about it i really don't know what it does he's got Bocephalon and xerxes tree or i don't even know how to pronounce it. you guys gave me a bunch of crap with it last time which is all good i don't really mind it if i pronounce something wrong feel free to uh Try to help me out with the pronunciation. But who should I go into? I definitely want to set Trick Room. I definitely want to set Trick Room. I kind of want to go into here and here. And then bring in Lele. Then in the final spot, probably go Heatran. Or do I go Titar? Now, yo, let's get Heatran out here. I mean, he might thrive under Trick Room. But he has only Calyrex. It's going to be a Trick Room Mon. Can Fable set a Trick Room? I really don't know. I really don't know. But we're looking for it. We're looking for that perfect record. I still have fun whether I'm battling on the rank or casual because I still feel like I show off the team. Uh, either or. It's just rank battles are a little bit harder to show off the teams in because obviously the people are better at like, battling with. But Crobat and Blissephalon are going to come out. Yo, dude, that thing's got crazy head made. I think all the Ultra Beasts were just their weird designs that never made it. And then they were just like, yo, let's call them Ultra Beasts and throw all these weird Pokemon in, a, in that category. And they're like, okay, that's fair. <laughs> But this God Celestial is going to come out here. I am definitely going to trick the room up. And then do I Leech Eat or do I Protect? Because that thing is fire typing. That's a little scary. I'm going to Protect then. I am going to Protect. Yeah. There's my Protect. Eat me, dude. Get out of my face. Let's see what Protects. Tailwind's going to come out from the Crobat. Oh, yes, sir. Go ahead. Waste a turn with a Tailwind. We're just Trick Rooming, dog. We're just Trick Rooming. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Man. All right, we got to get that defense boost. And then I think I just got to come in hot. I think I just got to come in hot. We got acrobats. Oh, my lord. Lordy, 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 lord. Let me try to set up a leech. I think Celestial is going. Let's try to set up a lead seed and maybe protect next turn. He gets uh, Lele in here. Oh my lord. Get in there, Lele. Set the surge. What a play. What a turn one play. I did not see a taunt coming out from that thing. I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. Let's see what this dude got. What's he got? 
Battlefield's getting a little weird. Give me my seeds, baby. Give me my seeds. Give me my defense boost. Oh, no, it's special defense. That's even better. Everybody's going to bite over on Lele slot. Lele, Lele says, yo, that's his snack. But Cephalon's going to go for Shadow Ball. Okay. Over on to Lele slot. They were trying to double up into my... E. That's dead anyway. But I did get the seeds off. I did get the seeds off. He's going to taunt again. So, uh... I think I shake taunt off. But Cephalon gets a beast boost. E! Really scary. Give me the seeds. <laughs> I love how he, like, shoots up cannons and just, like, little seeds come out. I was like... Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Give me my seeds, dude. Let me seed you up. All right. Sitting here with a special defense boost. I gotta go back into Dust Cups. Act like I'm setting a trick room and I have to throw an attack. This is just gonna taunt me, right? This thing's just gonna taunt me, right? Where do I go for the trick room? I feel like I still go for the trick room either way. And I might go for the heavy slam. Over on the Crobat slot. Let's do it. Or maybe I should have set up a Seeds over on the Blacephalon slot. But still, he's, he's Fire Pokemon. I'm gonna go for the Trick Room. Try to waste, him turn, waste his turn with a Taunt. Or I could have read it. But, oh, he's Dynamaxing. He's Maximaxing. This might work out good for us. Because he is Beast Boosted. And, oh, that we need Dust Cop to eat. Oh, no, he's gonna go Crobat. Okay. Okay, my dude. I seriously thought he was gonna go uh, Blacephalon. Now that he's uh, Boosted. But that's fine by me. Let's see what he's got. See what he's gonna go for. He's gonna go for darkness. Yo, plots. That's tasty snacky out there, buddy. Real tasty. Show me no taunts coming. Show me no taunts coming. Show jeans at no taunts coming. Special events gonna go back down to normal for Celestia. No taunt. He's gonna go for Shadow Ball. Yo, eat, buddy. Eat it. Yo, let's go. Ah. Oh my lord, dude. This thing is running me. Oh my god. This Placephalon's gotta go. This Placephalon's gotta get out of my face. We got Dynamax Heat Train. We got Dynamax Heat Train ASAP. He got my heavy slam. And he shook his head because it is Dynamax. Dude, I totally forgot about that. We're getting slammed up. We're getting slammed up. I gotta protect this turn from my boy Celesteela and uh, Dynamax Heat Train and get rid of this Placephalon. Like, I cannot deal with this Placephalon right now. Thing's an absolute monster. It's an absolute beast. Got a special defense shot, which probably killed us. EP could come out. We could Quake. This is exactly what we're gonna do. Get that special defense boost. And then I'm just going to protect my boy. I'm just going to protect my boy. I cannot have Celestial going out. I need Celestial if I'm going to win this game. Bro, dude, that turn one play was ridiculous. I didn't know this thing could taunt. He taunted me and kind of screwed me up all around. And now Blacephalon's plus two. So if we don't dump on this thing this turn, then we definitely lost. So, like, we can win this game. Like, I see us winning this game if uh, we take out uh, this Blacephalon here. We take out Blacephalon with this Max Quake. And both my Pokemon stay alive with uh, fairly decent health. I think Heatran should be fine here. We're not going to be able to outspeed because of Tailwind. We already know that. Here's my Protect. Uh, he hopefully he goes for a Fire Move over on that side, but he might be choice to a Shadow Ball. Let's see what happens. Robat's going to go for the Darkness. Over on the Heatran. Lower my Special Defense, but we eat that up uh, fairly easily. Fairly easily. Dude, that Special Defense drop is very, very scary. Very, very scary. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Shadow Ball's going to come out here. What you mean? What you mean? He absolutely just dumped on me. This game is over. It is done with. I, it is done with. Yo, Bocephalon OP, dude. Running things. Running things. Gets a crit. Celestial is just trying to stall out here and all that good stuff, but not happening in this battle. But what I wanted to show off was just getting Trick Room up. If we would have got Trick Room up, we would have been thriving. We would have been thriving. I could have Leech Seeded, just been rolling out and all that good stuff. But, yo, he made a good turn one play, which ended up making him win that game with a Tailwind and that Taunt, and then just run it with the Bacephalon. One last time, thank you so much, TNT, for dropping this team. I absolutely love it. If you guys want to drop me teams, head in the link in the description below, jeans underscore YouTube. Over on Instagram, the link is down there in that description. But this team absolutely rocked out. The T-Tar and that Draco Fish combo is so strong. You just sand rush that thing. He's going to outspeed most Pokemon and just be able to dump on them in one shot with Fish's Red. Then you also got that Celeste Steel, a Trick Room combo with the Tapu Lele. And then Heatran as a strong back-end Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.